Hey guys, and welcome back to Zilt. Yeah, you heard that right. Zilt. I am restarting my old YouTube series. We are going back to Holland in the 1930s. Turns out I just like this period the most and I like building in this period the most. I was considering doing a more tropical theme. I started a game, but then Promenade and Plazas released and it broke down my save game. It also broke the save game for Kralingenburg, so I'm afraid that series is also discontinued. To be honest, this really pissed me off and it demotivated me for a while. But then, by the end of last year, I visited the uh, Zuiderzee Museum, which really inspired me to restart my YouTube series again. Because basically the museum is zilt in real life. It got tons of cool stories, which I took inspiration from, and I am planning to incorporate the stories in this new second season of Zilt. So without further ado, let's go to the episode. And this episode is going to be about a steam laundry. The steam engine changed the world in the early 18th century. By the 19th century, everything seems to be powered by such machines. The 1900s were also a century where big steps in hygiene were made. And so the steam engine would revolutionize the world of laundry. See, in these days, people in cities would use the filthy canal water to hand wash their linen. However, the water quality became so bad that the canals in the cities were basically an open sewer. On a hot summer day, downtown Amsterdam was often described as an unbearable smell. In the center of the country lies the small town of IJsselmuide. This town became the capital of cleaning laundry. It wasn't only for its easy access to major rivers, but the most important thing was an abundance of clean, fresh water. The steam laundry I built in this game is an exact copy of one of those steam laundries in IJsselmuiden. It now resides in the Zuiderzee Museum in the Netherlands. This particular building was operational until 1934. By then the washing machine had its introduction and clean drinking water was available throughout the cities. Let me try to explain how this thing operated. The building is divided in two parts. The right part is the furnace and the left part is the cleaning room. The coal furnace would generate steam. A big drive shaft would be hanging in the middle of the building. The steam would turn around the shaft and with drive belts it would turn around the centrifuge and the washing presses. Aside from generating steam, the furnace would also warm up water for in the machines. This wasn't a good place to work. The job was often done by children. It wasn't healthy, the place was often damp, slippery and moist. Oh, and I forgot to mention all the toxics they used to clean the laundry, of course. After this process, the laundry would be put up to dry. This would be either in the special warmed up attic of the building itself or on the so-called Blakefeltjes surrounding the building. Blakefeltjes were very common in Holland even up until the 60s. Nowadays people don't know them anymore, but every town, every village, every city had them. A Blakefelt is called a bleaching ground in English. A famous example is in the painting by Jacob van Ruysendaal. View in Haarlem with the bleaching grounds. I am no expert on how bleaching works, but this is what the internet gave me. When UV light hits the material, it triggers a chemical reaction. On linen, this is causing photodegradation. It's basically the fading of colors. This reaction is simply perfect for white thin clothes and linen. UV breaks down the chemical bonds and stains, causing them to fade. In addition, UV also potentially kills microorganisms. Bleaching grounds form the part of the infrastructure in every town. It would often be a communal ground where women of the town would talk the latest news and gossips. With the rise of the washing machines and fresh water in every house, the bleaching grounds disappeared. Okay guys, this is gonna be the part where I'll show you how I build everything. I thought it would be nice for Chains to have no voiceover. 
Just to check it out how it is, just watching me building something with some nice music in the background.
Right guys, we're reaching the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, little documentary styled video. I know uh, it might be a bit boring for some people. I just really enjoy making a band. So uh, I hope if you find it really boring, uh, go ahead. Tell me in the comments, but I'll probably keep doing it because I really enjoyed making this. All right, uh, thank you all for watching. And most of all, thank you all for sticking around uh, because it has been a while since I uploaded. Uh, I can promise the next episode will be there very quick, but there will be a next episode again. All right, guys, thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe, you know the drill. We'll see each other in the next episode. This was Jazz. Bye.